hello everyone this is hems from studio matrix today we are going to see how to illustrate a graphic which we designed for a blog post i hope you will enjoy this video and if you have any ideas or queries about this please leave your comments below let's get into this video so now we are going to design an illustration for a blog post called fault in our stats so what is this blog post is about this article is about designer where they feel creative blog and how to overcome this so the first point in doing an illustration is to first to get the requirement and uh, do a brainstorm about this so this for this graphic uh this post is about a fault in our start so i just collected some of the keywords like uh, a designers the blog they have facing and how to overcome this and i just noted some of the key points which uh, which is stated in that blog so i took some of it so the second thing is make a sketch about with the help of the keywords so use the keywords like a designers desk and the blog that they are facing and uh, there is a thing to overcome this so i have uh, so i have a basic idea about this and i sketched uh, this concept um so i just thought of an idea a woman is uh, holding a um, is sitting in a desk and she is holding an umbrella which uh, creates a barrier for some of the create blocks which she is facing so the third thing is getting into the computer always first start with the outline illustration just trace it out and always start it by uh, using an outline and after tracing out uh, i just collected i just i just have some uh, uh, color palette with me uh, so i used this color palette for this illustrations um we will do a separate video on how to choose your colors for uh, your illustrations in upcoming videos i will be sharing that so after coloring this so the main thing is in the color palette is to have a contrast in an illustration
so after so after finishing the illustrations uh, adding details and shadows gives more value to the illustrations like uh, the shadows from the lamp and which falls on and uh, the shadows of a laptop and uh, plant which i placed on the top of the desk so it gives a great value to that so while using the shadows we just copy paste that uh, shape and uh, so press e to transform this and we have a skew um, at the left bottom so we can adjust the perspective of the shadow just make sure where the light is coming so just make sure what's the source of the light so if you fix the global light so this is where the light is coming uh, we can use that as a base and create the shadows and highlights according to that so after that we are just adding another details by adding strokes to that umbrella and uh, giving extras to that clouds and circles and sparkles to adding additional to that value So this is what how the exact illustration will look like. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed our Studio Matrix channel, please do subscribe because more interesting videos are coming up, and uh, I'm sure it will be helpful for you. Stay tuned for another video. Thank you.